So this is the lens, the Freewell CPL, the circular polarizing lens. But let me just explain, there's a bit of a story how I got to this and it happened about a year ago. Um, I didn't even realize it at the time. It only just came to me a couple of weeks ago. So I went on holiday and I broke my sunglasses. And what I did, I bought some new sunglasses, got in the car, we was driving. And where you've got the display on the car, where it shows you like your tire pressures, your fuel consumption, the time, what the radio station is. I noticed looking at that, it was just black, I couldn't see it. And it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago, this came back to my memory and I thought, that happened because they were polarizing glasses. I've seen videos and posts where you can buy polarizing film and people put it on their displays on the bike. Uh, not just for trying to hide your speedo, but for people who've got the more modern bikes where you can have your display linked to the phone so any messages you get will pop up on the phone and obviously some people you know they don't want to make those messages visible or if you're phoning a particular person you don't want the phone number visible especially if you're filming so you can get this film and you can put it on there you can put a piece of film on the lens of your gopro and then you put another piece on the display on the bike but then it came back to me, these glasses, and I thought, polarised glasses. I thought, if there's polarised glasses, then there's got to be a polarised lens. And I wonder if they do polarised lenses for the GoPro. So I typed it in, searched in Amazon, and there is hundreds of them. I mean, some of them go up to, to the hundreds. The one I got is this, the Freewell. And this was 19.99. And it got mixed reviews, you know, some people were saying, oh, it's great. Some other people were saying, you know, oh, it's rubbish, it doesn't do anything. So I suppose the reviews of the lens, I'd imagine, depends on what you're trying to achieve with it. So if you're trying to use this polarising lens for a particular, you know, an effect you're using when you're in daylight, you know, maybe this brand, it might not be good at doing that. It might be just a cheap version of it. But what it does do good is exactly what my sunglasses was doing. This acts exactly the same. So the LCD display, this blocks out the light emitting from the LCD display. Uh, I'll try and put a little diagram up and try and explain it simply. So the way this lens works is, imagine my phone there is my display on my bike and it's an LCD display. Now, how an LCD display works is the light emitted will be a certain waveform. So if you imagine it, it's up and down, up and down. That's the, that's the waveform of the light. The way a polarizing filter or lens works is you can block that waveform. So if the waveform's going up and down, up and down, this filter can block any light what's going up and down but any other light going any other pattern so if it's going sideways it allows the light through and that's basically how it works but the good thing is with this lens is you can turn it so let's have a look at the lens so what we do we take off the standard gopro lens This is the polarizing lens, and what it's got is, if you can see the outside, it's like a dial. You can turn it. See. So if we put that on, There's the lens. Now what I, all, all I need to do now is put the camera on, switch my bike on, look at the display on my bike, 
and then I'll just keep turning this and you will see the display some of it will change color some will get bright some will get dark and you can just adjust that lens to where you want it right so I'm trying this in natural daylight see if it's any different So it works better in daylight. There we go. Turn the wheel. It will also block out so much information on my phone. So if I've got a, a message come up on my phone, it can block that. It doesn't work too well with iPhone screens. What it tends to do is it tends to block certain colors coming through off the phone's display but it does work to a degree but i suppose for those who've got a, a modern biker display where your actual phone notifications will come through on the bike at least you can use this now to hide that information especially if you're using a camera so at least you're not giving out you know any details any addresses any phone numbers but it also works on your bike so it can hide you know, you can hide your rev counter, your fuel consumption, your speedo for 1999. I'd imagine you know, there's probably some other lenses on there, polarizing lenses, a lot more expensive, which might work a lot better. But for 1999, at least I ain't got to worry about putting this film on the camera and the film on the display. It works quite well for me. And I'll also, I'll see if I've got footage of looking at my bike's display i'll put them side by side one with this when i've got this filter on and one where i haven't got the filter on so at least then you can see the difference on what information you can see on the display but there you go works great for me i'll put a link up for it on amazon as long as it's available on amazon but i suppose if this one's not available anymore there's plenty more like it but it is ideal just to have that one i think you can buy these where the lens is fixed but you do need that adjustable wheel. And the reason being, I think the displays on different bikes, their wave pattern might not be up and down. It might be sideways coming out. So, you know, you need, you need to get one of these where you can adjust it so it matches your bike. Yeah, and I suppose if you jump off your bike and you get into another bike, you can just adjust it to whatever that display is. But it works great for me. So that's it, the free well, CPL circular polarizing lens it's not bad you know it's not a top of the range lens but it works for me I'm happy with it